As you can see, I'm driving through the Golden Gate Bridge right now. People come and travel to see this. This is where I live. This is my drive. I was about to settle for less and commit to moving in with my ex-boyfriend at one point in my life. At one point in my life, I was convinced I was gonna move in with him. Like, isn't that, that is, that is, oh my gosh, my life would be so much more different. With all that, I mean, that was a push as to why I'd like to come live out on my own. The thing about a toxic relationship is you don't realize it. You don't realize it until after the fact. Why? Because of they're so good at manipulating you. That's what traps you. This is such a pretty drive. Wow. These, like people say that a bunch of the rich people live here. I see that. I see that. We're just traveling. I think we're in Sausalito right now. It's so pretty right now. Let me just flip my POV. Look at this. As you can see to the left, there are some nice houses. To the right, we have a building on the sea and lots of people, lots of tourists. I'm literally just here exploring. I'm gonna stop when I feel the time is right. Let's just go on a nice drive together for those that don't experience it. You can experience it with me, okay? Yeah, it's so cutesy here. Such cutesy vibes, like such cutesy vibes. I'm just going wherever the wind takes me, just exploring. On solo trips, you just explore and go wherever the wind takes you. I love just traveling for my, by myself because it's like, I don't need to rely on anyone. I don't need to rely on anyone for a ride. I don't, I don't need to stop, make a special stop. Not everyone likes to go with the flow. Not everyone, like people like to plan out, have itineraries. I was that person, but I realize I'm not that person no more. Like on my own time, it's all on my own time. If I'm hungry, I'll get food when I'm hungry. If I'm thirsty, I'll get food. I'll get water when I'm thirsty. I literally have no obligation to listen to anyone. I love it. I love making my own rules. We're out of downtown area. We're getting into like, oh. Savannah's trying to get in my lane. Like, why, sir, the fuck? It is very pretty here. I do gotta say it's gorgeous. Update, wind told me to come to Petaluma, so I'm out here in Petaluma. I've been driving for the past like 30 minutes. I started hitting a little bit of traffic and just getting a headache, so I was like, it's my time to uh, get off and explore. You guys, I found me some free parking. I love me some good old free parking, especially in the Bay Area. I didn't know it was so expensive here for parking, uh, but I just happened to park right next to a thrift store that we shall check out. I guess there's two kinds of thrift stores. This is like a home thrift store, so maybe we'll find something out here. Looks like it's just a bunch of knickknacks, just like home things. I am getting slightly chilly. Ugh, if this jacket is one dollar, I may have to get it. I need like a white jacket. I think this will do. It's one dollar. I'm gonna get it for sure. I don't care if I need to wash it. I'm chilly right now. I need a mirror to check these out. I need to see how these look on me. I need to get some more jackets because I barely got any. So first this kind of thin, oh kind of small the sleeves. That's the thing, I have long arms. Okay, nah. This is a no. This jacket looks really cool. And I've been loving colors lately so far. It's a little tiny, a little tiny. But okay, I think I have to get this jacket. Like, it's just so snazzy looking. So snazzy looking. That was a super reasonably priced thrift store. I need to go find a bathroom now. Just gonna skate around and see what's up. See what's up, see what's around. Got a little art piece here. Is that Starbucks? Oh, perfect. I need to go to the bathroom. If anyone knows where Old Town Temecula is, that's what Petaluma hella reminds me of. Here's a little alleyway I shall not be going. Looks like they're doing a little tour here. Made my way to this pretty little scenic bridge. Definitely got some Old Town vibes to it. Beyond the bridge, water looks a little muddy. It says this is all free. So I'm gonna take this for my closet. 
just like for my apartment to hang up. I might actually listen to this. It says it's meditation. Mozart for meditation specifically. So I'm gonna take these. I love a good library. Hopefully it's open. It is the weekend. Oh, 4 p.m. Okay, so it's not open. But look at it. There's like a skeleton horse too. Oh, the sunlight is so pretty. Cute little scenic park. Let me chill. Here are the trees. I'm just gonna chill here. When I do solo trips on a budget, I always have my sketch pad. I'm fine with going to a park and sitting and drawing. So that is what I shall do. Me and who? Me and who? Like, look at that nice green convertible car. The Golden Gate Bridge, which is where I want to see the sunset, is 40 minutes away. And the sunset is setting right now. So are we going to have time to see it? Are we going to have time to see it is the question. But we are trekking our way back home. We are still on the solo adventure. Wherever the wind takes me is wherever the wind takes me. At this rate, I can't go to Oregon like what? Well, I definitely missed, definitely missed the sunset. But you know what? I also was heading back to the city and then there was traffic, so I just got off an exit early. The exit ended up being a great lookout point. Look at what I'm looking at. Do you guys see this? I mean, there's slight sunset, slight sunset, but look at this. Look at this. Like, yeah. I wanna go up there though. I can walk up there. But I just don't have like the proper clothes, <laughs> if I'm being honest. So pretty. So pretty. Look at the Golden Gate Bridge. Look at how pretty. So pretty. This is such a good view spot, honestly. I wish I came prepared for the cold weather. I knew, I knew, I, I knew I wasn't. I knew I wasn't coming prepared though. But yeah, this is how I'm ending my night. After this, you know, we'll see what I do. We'll see what I do, but look at this. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, and the moon. I love the earth. I love the earth. It's always fun doing a little adventure. Thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe and make sure to count your blessings every single day.